Hi, welcome again, I hope. Uh, I haven't been on YouTube for quite some time and I can give an explanation. I won't say sorry because I'm not really sorry. Um, it was just that I didn't have much to say. Uh, I didn't have much to contribute. There was not something new I wanted to address. And instead of making filler, I decided to just bur not burden you. Uh, for stuff I didn't well want to talk about. So, now yesterday I had a very interesting experience and I want to report on that in this video. Um, the what you see at the moment is my trusted old Casio F202. And I really like this watch. It has several alarm settings that I use quite often because I'm rather forgetful and this if I have busy days like today I well kind of need this watch to go through it uh, unscathed and don't to do well just to make sure I don't forget st stuff I need to do as you can see this watch has been worn quite a bit uh, you see the scuffed edges where the gray plastic shines through. The silver is sprayed on or at least painted on so it has scuffed away due to wear and tear. Uh, it also had some quite nasty scratches on top of the display and I didn't like that very much. So yesterday, it was a Sunday, and I decided, well, I'm just going to polish those out. I have quite some experience in working with plastics. Uh, one of my other hobbies is making flutes. And, well, I make them in all kind of varieties. Here you have the trusted bamboo. But I also have them in plastics. Like this one made of tubing that is used for aquariums. So I'm familiar with uh, working with plastic, sanding it down and then buffing it up. Um, I have a trusted method for that and I would want to go into that as well. I first, I always use sanding paper that is waterproof because waterproof uh, sanding paper tends to have a grid that stays on the paper much better than um, at least cheaper sanding papers with uh, a, that are not waterproof. Um, it also wears in quite nicely. So as it gets older, I have an example right here. As it gets older, it the grid stays on, but it's just finer. It gets finer. So you can still use it. And sometimes I really prefer a worn in sanding paper over new sanding paper. So I don't throw them away that quickly. Um, what I always start with, or most of the time I start with, with for, for acrylics like these, at least I think it's acrylic, I start with a 400 grit. And that's this one. It's almost visible, <laughs> but not for the camera. Um, but it's the 400, and I just start in one direction, of course. I sand it down uh, until I've got a rid of the blemish. Then I use a 600. As you can see, this one was also worn in quite a lot, but still it did a nice job. And um, yeah. I used it, this to first take out the rougher scratches and then I used some kind of polishing. Uh, for this watch I used the trusted poly watch because, well, hey, it's made for it. And then you can buff it up really, really, really nicely. Now, was it very easy? No. And that's what the thing I wanted to address. Because it seemed that this watch has some kind of layer on the display. I think it's a scratch resistant layer or something that should function in the way. Because as I first started to sanding it down, it felt really, really tacky. And it was 
really hard to get a good grip with the sending paper on the screen. Um, I need to use quite a lot of force and after I send it for a while I noticed that where the sending was most abrasive in the middle there was this line where you had a different layer. So here you had rough layers, yours was still very very rough and then you had some kind of ridge and in the middle that was much finer and I also noticed that the sanding paper felt less tacky over there, so um, it was more abrasive and I made sure I took out all the other stuff as well on the edges, so I made it quite level, but I really needed to go in there. I must say I always do stuff by hand because it gives me a lot more uh, control about what I'm doing. At least that's what I, the feeling I get from doing stuff by hand. As you can see, this has turned out quite nice, but it wasn't really easy to do. It took me several hours of sanding by hand and polishing by hand. Um, so that's something I learned. It, it seems that Casio uses some kind of coating on top of their acrylic displays to prevent scratches, I believe. Um, but well, if they get scratched and you want to take those scratches out, it it's, it's, comes with quite some suffering to um, remove all of that coating before you can really, really brighten up the display. So, that's what I had to say on this topic. I will make uh, another video quite shortly. I bought one new watch. Um, it's a kind of an old watch, I guess. As a bonus, I can show it to you. It's the trusted Casio F91 watch and I bought it in the white and silver variety. Um, I wanted to make a comparison with this watch because it's quite interesting. Um, it, it didn't turn out as I expected. I know that, for instance, that the lighting of this wool is, is notoriously bad. This one has quite nice lighting, but um, I noticed that the display of this one is much, much crisper, which is quite nice. Um, so those, uh, these are one of the things I, I wanted to address, but that will be done in another video. For now, I say bye-bye and till the next movie of movie video.